guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I am a home-based online English tutor and in this channel, I share tips on how to be an ESL tutor, how to be a virtual assistant, and on how to improve your English pronunciation skills or your English communication skills. So, sana po mag-subscribe kayo because I am sure makakakuha kayo ng simple and realistic tips on how to start your home-based journey. So for today's video, I decided to share tips on how to conduct free conversation as an ESL tutor. One of the most challenging lessons that we can conduct as an ESL tutor is free conversation. Why? Kasi nga free conversation siya. Minsan nahihirapan tayong maghanap ng questions na pwede nating itanong sa estudyante natin o di kaya hindi natin alam kung papaano ba natin um, tatanungin yung mga questions na gusto nating tanungin kasi nga wala tayong kodigo because it's a free conversation. ba yung parang nag-uusap lang kayo na parang magkaibigan o magkakilala, ganyan. If ganun yung lesson natin, yung pag-self-introduction kasi parang if parang getting to know each other, that's a very common kind of topic na for the students, especially if you check the records and they have been doing free conversations for the past years or with their past tutors. So parang you want also your lesson to be something unique ha, and then interesting para maging conversational yung estudyante mo. Kasi diba minsan pag hindi conversational yung estudyante natin, minsan nakakapikon. Sa so, totoo lang guys, uh, pag ganun yung estudyante ko, free conversation, tapos tinanong ko lang yung question ko, tapos sagot lang siya. Tapos wala na, antay na ulit yung next question. Naku, mahihirapan ka talaga. Mauubusan ka ng tanong. Kunyari, tinanong mo siya, What is your hobby? So, sasabihin niya, I like basketball. Tapos, tumahimik na siya. Antayin niya ulit yung question mo. So, paano na pag natanong mo na lahat ng favorites, di ba? Tapos, ganun lang siya. Nakakapikon. Na, no, hindi naman nakakapikon, pero nakakawala ng gana, di ba? Tapos, ikaw din, parang, imbis na ma-enjoy mo yung free conversation ninyo, eh, medyo may inis ka. Diba? So, yun. Parang ganun. So, we have to know how to conduct a free conversation with our students. And I'm going to share yung ginagawa ko na alam ko naman sa tingin ko is effective kasi yung mga estudyante ko naman, pagka free conversation, nagiging very conversational naman sila and they're explaining their in, um, their answers. Pag free conversation kayo, di ba tatanungin mo si estudyante mo? So for today's lesson, we are going to have a free conversation. So, kunyari yung estudyante mo is Anna. Anna? So tanungin mo muna siya. Anna, do you have a preferred topic that you want us to talk about? So, kung meron, o di good, sasabihin niya, I wanna talk about the, your culture and the culture in my country too. I want to know the differences. So, at least alam mo. Pero pag sa, paano pag sinabi ng estudyante mo na no, any topic is fine. <laughs> so, any topic is okay. So, ganyan siya. Siyempre, challenging na siya kasi paano mo umpisahan? So, for me, so what I do is, okay, so, First, I just want to know more about yourself. So, I want to know what kind of company do you work for? Kung ano, alam mo naman na nagtatrabaho na siya. So, sasabihin niya kung anong klase yung company niya. And you can follow up with questions like, how long have you been working there? And if that student has been working in that company for a long time, one of the good questions that you can ask is, for those 10 years of working in that company, I want to know, have you been transferred from one um, one department to another? So, diba? Tatanungin mo siya kung na-transfer na ba siya. Sa, kasi common yun sa ibang bansa, lalo na sa Japan, they will be transferred from one department to another. So, tatanungin mo siya kung gano'n. So, i-explain niya. Okay, so yeah, actually I've been transferred to the sales department like this. Um, so, tatanungin mo yung experience niya sa sales department na yun. At least meron ka ng um, umpisa, meron ka ng starting point, di ba? Kung, kung saan mo ga, kukunin yung mga questions mo. Kasi kunyari, sasabihin niya na na-transfer na siya. So you can follow up mga questions na, uh, did you request for that transfer or did the company decide to transfer you to that department? Di ba? Kung, depende rin sa isasagot niya kung sasabihin niya na um, na decision yun ng company, biglaan. So how was it? Was it hard for you to adjust uh, from your previous department to the uh, to the sales department how was your adjustment 
So, mga ganon, di ba? Parang at least meron nga. So, medyo mahaba-habang explanation na yun na manggagaling sa estudyante mo. So, paano siya nag-adjust? Siyempre, kukwento na niya kung ano yung mga ginawa niya. Paano pag sinabi niya na no, I've been working in this department for 10 years. So, I wasn't transferred. I've been working here since I started in this company. So, you can actually follow up a question like, Are you interested in trying to work in another department? So, ganun. Tanungin mo siya kung interesado siya. Tapos, sasabihin niya na no. I'm, I think I'm happy in my department. So, mga ganun mga yung tanong ni, ay yung sagot niya. O di kaya sasabihin niya na, yeah, actually, I want to try the oh, I want to try the marketing department. So, tatanungin mo din kung bakit, di ba? Bakit siya interesado sa marketing department? So, pwede mong sabihin na, because actually, you know what, I'm, for example, like me, ha, yung sinasabi ko sa, sa ano, sa Estudyante ko, I'm a person who is very much interested in marketing because I like I like trying new ideas, especially when it comes to promoting products. I think that's a very challenging role, but something very enjoyable. So, how about you? Why do you want to work in the marketing department? You can ask follow-up questions depending sa sagot ng estudyante mo. So, papano naman? If your student is just answering the questions na for the sake of answering lang, yung parang hindi siya um, nagpa-participate. So, what I do is I actually search Google immediately. So, for example, kunyari sasabihin niya na any topic is okay. So, gaganon siya. Isa-search ko na agad, di ba? Free conversation. Mga ganyan, free conversation questions. So, eh, ano mo, makakakita ka dun ng mga questions na pwede mong tanungin na medyo kailangan ng explanation, hindi lang yung yes or no na questions. Kasi pag yes or no lang, naku, mahihirapan ka talaga, maubusan ka ng sagot, tapos mahihirapan ka na i-encourage yung estudyante mo na maging um, conversational dun sa free conversation din yo. So, look for the question na pwedeng i-explain niya yung sagot. So, for me, one of the things that I ask my students is, baka kunyari matagal na sila sa company, ako, tinatanong ko, when you graduated from college, were you interested in that company immediately? Was it recommended by someone? Lalo lalo na kung bago pa sila sa company, de ba? Wala sila masyadong may share. So, tatanungin mo sila, when you graduated from college, were you interested in that company immediately? Or what made you interested in applying in that company? So, mga ganun, for example, di ba yung estudyante ko nga is Japanese people. So, I say, you know, in the Philippines, when we look for a job, we have to do it personally. We have to go to companies and submit our resumes personally. How about in your country? Is it the same? Is it the same process? So, ganun, tatanungin mo siya yung mga ganun questions. Um... Don't make your explanation too long, ha? Yung reason mo why you're asking. Kasi pag ganun, syempre ikaw na yung nagsalita. Ikaw na yung nag-explain. Parang short explanation lang. So, ako, meron yung minsan na tinatanong ko si estudyante, You know what? I've been working as an ESL tutor for six years. And there was a time that um, I wanted to switch jobs. But I didn't know how to do it. What about you? You've been working there for 10 years. Was there ever a time that you felt the same way? Okay, so mga ganun, di ba? Yung hindi lang very common questions yung tatanungin mo, pero something na pwedeng magpa, ano, sa estudyante mo na, oh, parang hindi ko po ito nang sasagot, ha? So, pag ganun yung tinatanong ko, most of my students will say, oh, that's a very nice question. Parang, that's an interesting question. Parang ganun. Tapos, mapapaisip sila. Tapos, mag explain sila. So, mas mahahaba, mahaba yung explanation ni estudyante mo. While your student is explaining, you can also think of other follow-up questions na pwede mong itanong pagka tapos na niya yung sagot niya sa question na yun. Something relevant naman dun sa topic ninyo. Free conversation is enjoyable, lalo na kung alam mo, ya, alam mo naman na interesado ka din sa topic. So, alam mo minsan yung estudyante, pag nga sinabi nila sa inyo na, I don't have a preferred topic. Any topic is fine. Nakupiliin mo na yung interesado ka para ma-enjoy mo yung conversation ninyo. Kasi minsan boring yung free conversation. Lalo na nga, sabi ko, if your student is not participating very well during the conversation. For me, minsan yung discipline, how to maintain or how do you discipline yourself. For example, you know what, this year, I've been trying to be more disciplined when it comes to my job. 
um, I want to focus working and achieve my goals but I think there are a lot of distractions what about you um, I just want to know how do you keep yourself disciplined nila, what do you mean so explain more na uh, for the past years I, I've been um, challenging myself to work harder because I want to save more money to put up my own business. Unfortunately, I kept failing. I want to know some tips that can also help me and I want to learn from you on how you do it, how you discipline yourself when it comes to work and when it comes to achieving your goals. Mga ah, ganun, di ba? Napunta ka na sa goals. Goals, medyo malalim na siyang topic. So, so far naman sa mga estudyante ko, they are very, very open to those kinds of questions. Hindi naman siya very personal eh. Kasi hindi naman confidential yung tinanong mo. Tips lang naman or how do they discipline themselves. That's a very common question that anyone can ask from someone. So, okay lang yon Mga questions na ganun. Basta iwasan lang natin yung mga sensitive topics, of course, that can offend them. Um, mga topics na religion, about religion, about politics. May mga tao na hindi comfortable na mag-talk about politics and religion. Meron din yung iba na yung kultura, ayaw din na pag-usapan, ganyan. So, you can also share nga, sabi ko, kung ano yung meron tayo na gusto mo ding um, malaman kung ano yung sa kanila. Okay, so uh, uh, I hope clear yung mga tips na binigay ko. Kasi I know, having a free conversation is not really easy. Okay, so I hope you got tips from this video and good luck sa mga lessons ninyo. And if you have questions, please comment down comment down the section. If you have questions, please comment below. I am answering the questions that I'm receiving. And also, pag nagustuhan niyo yung video na to, sana magpakapag-subscribe tayo. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye!